gods of Britannia. I am Rome. And where I walk is Rome. Defenses are dug. Prisoners back within the stockade and under shelter. Standards are tented and under guard. And our brave boys? Oh. They were on the brink of mutiny back in Gaul. God only knows where their houses are now. Back then it was sea serpents, giant octopus, Neptune and his army of the deep. Only one day in this country they're ready to swim home. Maybe they're the ones we should be afraid of. So what's the plan? Same as Egypt, I guess they find the local chieftain, knock on his door, find out what they want, who they hate, who they want punished for centuries of indescribable wrongdoing to their noble tribe, what sacred forests they want back. And we listen carefully, very, very carefully, and we find the weak points, and we push. We push hard. Five years from now, that sacred forest will be Roman ships carrying Roman soldiers to the next place, and so on and so on. So who do we speak to first? Give me a chance, I don't even know the names of the bloody tribes, yeah. There's something I don't get. What's that? The Emperor says, here's one, lads. Who wants to go back to those islands? The really fucking terrifying ones up there. Let's go back to that place Julius Caesar was too scared to spend more than five minutes in. I mean, what do they have up here? Besides trees and nightmares. But you put your hand up. Why? Why did you petition the Emperor personally? And don't say you didn't, because you did. I know you did. What do you think it was made old Caesar come all this way, take one look? and turn straight round. So he ran and you won't. Is that it? Is that why you want to fight these crazies? Do you remember when we were in Cairo? Coming up an alley by the marketplace, we saw these Egyptians standing there. They were watching a man perform a trick with chickens. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. I was pissed. He had one white hen and one black hen, and he took a sword and he chopped off the head of the white hen. And he chopped off the head of the black hen, Put the heads together and swap them over. And he gave you the white hen with the black head and me the black hen with the white head, and we examined them. And then we put them on the ground, and they ran off. Right through the market. It was a trick. We examined them. So he swapped them or something. He had four chickens. We saw him chop off their heads. It was a fucking trick, Aulus. Have you lost your mind? The next day, I went back to the market looking for the old man. I asked around and I found him. I went to his house, just this little hovel in the side street. We went into the yard and I asked him to show me the trick again. Only this time, I had two slaves with me. I tied the slaves up. I gave him a sword and I said, you show me. I'll pay you well, I'll give you anything you want. You just show me the trick again. Guess what happened next? What happened? <laughs> What's going on out there? I am Numerius Plautius, father to your grandfather, tribune to Caesar who died on the beaches at Warma. I bring fell warning from the underworld. You have desecrated the sacred tree of life. You must leave these islands. 
Return to Sorak to our estate. Go to the sloping hills of the Via Flaminia. There you will find a great and ancient pine. Go to the pen. Take the greatest stag and make of him a sacrifice there to Pluto himself. There is still time for his anger to be pacified. You have been warned, Aulus Plautius. Make amends. Make amends! and nightmares, Lucis. Trees and nightmares. 